Hanmi life. Oh, you got your toy, big boy. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, what you got? Oh, what you got? Oh, ready? Ready? Hey. Los. Los. Ay. Los. Hey. Los. He's like, Mom, there's so many people. Los. 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 Ay. 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 Off. Oh, there's a good boy. Oh, there's a good boy. Oh, look at this. Yes, Mom, look at my dog. Oh, I got my dog. Say, look at my dog. All right, ready? You, you keep that one. Get your dog. Not this dog. Leave it. Leave it. Oh, yes. Okay, ready? Oh, yes, I'm strong. Get it close. Oh. So we'll just go back and forth. Back and forth. This is my this is my workout. Ready? So this is this uh, canine. His name is what? This is Axel. Axel. And how old is Axel? Axel will be two in February. Uh huh. He's from the Netherlands. Okay. He's only been in the United States for about a year. Okay. Ready? And how? Uh, Ready? He's a German Shepherd. Is that correct? Close. Yes, he is. He is. Uh, Purebred German Shepherd. Okay. Um, he is a dual purpose canine. So he can track people. He can find articles, so things that people leave or drop. Mm -hmm. And then he finds bombs. He's an explosive detection dog. Ready? Oh, 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 oh. Come here. Oh, you want to show him your dog. Oh, you want that one too. Oh, you just want to show everybody your dog. Oh, you're going to knock the camera. So he is the youngest dog on our team. Okay, how many dogs are in the canine unit? We have 12 dogs that are assigned to the Kent County Sheriff's Office. Okay, and they all German no. Shepherds? Nope, we have Belgian Malinois, we have German Shepherds, and we have a Dutch Shepherd Pitbull mix. Okay. So we have a whole bunch of you guys, don't we? Don't we? Dick what, a boy? What would you say is the typical service time for most uh, canine dogs? Uh, I would say between seven and 10 years. Okay. You showing him your dog? He's like, look at what I got. <laughs> you got a dog, big boy. You got your dog. Do you want your ball? So like, the all of the dogs, are they trained? Um, where are they trained initially before they enter service? Um, I got, we, most of our dogs have come from Bonlet Kennels in Indiana. So that's where we purchased him in May of this year. Um, the last handful of dogs that we have gotten have come from that kennel. Mm -hmm. So they'll train him, or they'll get their dogs from the Netherlands, Hungary, Germany, Poland. Um, they come from all over the country, mm -hmm. or all over the, United, or the world. When they come here, yeah, I know, you're showing them your dog. They'll start training them on socializing them, and then they'll imprint them on either drugs or explosives. Okay. Axel got chosen for explosive detection. Once they start doing the explosive detection, then we start training them on tracking and apprehension. So he is trained to apprehend people and protect me as a ham his handler. So on command, he will bite and apprehend people as well. But we train them not to do that unless told to do that. Right, he's like, oh my gosh, mom, what's, what is that? So those commands that you were giving me earlier, that was in the, uh, German, was it? or Dutch. Dutch? Was yep, Dutch. because he's from the Netherlands, we kept all his commands in Dutch. We do have some commands that are in German um, from other dogs on our team. We also have um, some commands that are in Polish, because we have one dog from... Hey, <laughs> No, that's not yours. Come here. Look at what I... That'll add to the overall video. Thank you very much. You just think Thank everything you. is axles. I said say. Oh, you can't. So when the dogs are done with their service, when they retire, what happens with them? Are they adopted by somebody? They live with the handlers. So okay. I'm stuck with this big guy his whole life. Uh -huh. um, right now he lives with us. Off. <laughs> Off. This is my ball. This is mom's ball. That's your ball. Okay, there you go. There you go. Um, he lives with me right now, but he is property of the Kent County Sheriff's Office. Okay. Um, once he retires, he will then become my personal dog and mm -hmm. he'll be able to be introduced.
segregated into our family. Oh, that's a leaf. That's gross. Yeah. <laughs> um, was that good? You did you you ate it? Um, but he will then live with our family, uh, with me and my two kids and my husband, whatever personal dogs that we have there. Um, he'll become part of the family. And then he'll finish out his days after his work life is done, after his retirement days, being hopefully a couch potato. <laughs> have you always served in the canine unit of uh, King County Sheriff's Department? No, I am the newest handler on the team. I just received my dog in May of this uh, May of 2019. Okay. So very recently. So we've only been a working team for about seven months. And serving in the canine unit, is that something that you volunteer for or something that you're assigned to? Uh, you have to put in your letter of interest. Um, from there, you get chosen to do an interview. So then you go through an interview process just like you would when you start your law enforcement career. Mm -hmm. From the interview, you have to be able to complete a physical. Once you go through the physical, then they choose the person that they want to be the next handler. So I went through that process last February, so about a year ago. Um, for the physical, you had to run, I think, a mile and a half. You had to, in a time, um, a certain time, you had to do push-ups and sit-ups. You had to lift two of our dogs over a four-foot wall um, during the process of it. So it, it was a good, good physical test. Oh, you want to show them your ball? On me life. Is there some like a simple command or something that perhaps my mom could, could do that he might obey, like sit or, or stand? She could probably tell him to uh, lay down. I bet he would lay down for Okay, her. how do you say that? Off. Off. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Super simple. I'm gonna hit the table. And then what do I have her do is, you wanna show her your tub? Okay, so what I'll do, that, that tub, you wanna, do you want that tub or do you want the blue tub? Okay, you leave, leave you gotta give her one. Okay, leave it. So I'll have you hold that. No, yeah, hey, off. Leave it, leave it. Okay, now sit. Now you tell him to off. Oh. Nope. It's a very smart dog. Yeah, yeah wow. You are a smart dog. You think you're sometimes too smart. Yeah. He thinks he's like the smartest dog ever. Yeah. <laughs> On me life. You're so strong, Axel. Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay, come here. Guts. Hey, hey, Guts. 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 Off. Live. 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 on the bus, I get myself ready for work, and then it's all Axel time. So I go down, I let him out, I feed him, and then I'm like, all right, Axel, it's time to get ready for work. And this is what we do in the morning. Come here, bud. Ready? Come here. Ready? Go down. 
and we'll load up, and he'll get in the car, and then this is his spot. So he gets to hang out in there. Uh, his kennel goes all the way up to the right here. Okay. So if I open this window, you can see um, Axel. Where are you? He's right here. Oh, fair enough, there he is. <laughs> He'll show you his nose sometimes. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, come on, you're not letting me play. So then he'll throw a temper tantrum and lay down and be like, oh, I don't want to talk to anybody then. I'm just going to lay down. Um, but this is his this is his office. Okay. So I only use this door. This door is on a popper system, so I can control it with a button on my belt. So if I'm in need of him, if somebody starts running and I need him to catch up to me to go or someone starts fighting with me and I need him to come help me, I will push the button on my belt, this door will automatically pop open, and Axel will come out and find me. Um, and he's been trained to come and find me in plots, so when you saw him come and sit next to me on my side, he's been trained to come up next to me and lay down, and then I will tell him the command of what we need to do from there. So if I need him to start tracking somebody, I'll put my harness on him or my, my leash, we'll start tracking, or if I need him to apprehend somebody or, um, use aggression towards somebody, then I will command him to do that. So he is a multi-purpose dog. He's got a lot of growing up to do, because he is a puppy, and you can tell by his energy level, he's just always, always moving. That never stops. <laughs> but it's, okay. it's, it's, a, it's a handful, but it's good. Okay. Han Me Life. A lot of people, and I suppose in America too, probably don't know what canine literally means. Would you would you mind explaining to them? Canine is is dog. So when we talk about a canine unit, it's a dog unit. We have 12 dogs that are assigned to our unit that all do different things. We have dogs that sniff out drugs. We have dog a dog that sniffs out explosives. We have nine dogs that track and apprehend people. Um, we have two dogs that just sniff out um, drugs. We have a comfort dog assigned to our children's assessment center, and then we have a dog that is used for arson investigations and can find accelerants. Han Me Life. One of his first tracks was a subject that had ran from a traffic stop. We had been told that they had ran through a parking lot on a busy um, roadway and that they were possibly had jumped into a dumpster. Uh, officers had checked that dumpster and thought that maybe he had continued on. So we, we arrive on scene, we start the track and he starts tracking on hard surface which is actually tougher for dogs to do than grass or um, woods. And he turns towards that dumpster and sits. And I'm like, huh, I think the person's in this dumpster. So we start searching, I give commands, and sure enough, that suspect had been hiding underneath piles of garbage um, to hide from officers. And Axel had found him, and it was probably one of the coolest things because it was our first time doing it. And one of the biggest things that you're always told when you get a dog is trust your dog. Mm -hmm. These dogs are amazing tools um, and resources, and get your, get your Yeah, get your They're used as location tools. So when we're finding, or when we get sent to a bomb threat, or a suspicious package or something like that, if it's, if it's something that's already found, we're not necessarily a confirmation tool, because he doesn't know how to handle a bomb. I, no, I'm not equipped to handle bombs. Um, but we'll, we'll find it for you, and then we'll call in a bomb squad, and they'll come in with all their equipment and their techie stuff, and they'll come in and be able to defuse any situation that we end up coming across. So that's the biggest thing is they, they're locating tools. So they find the drugs, they can find the bombs, um, and then from there it's as handlers to help out and assist them. I'll tell you what, he loves to work. Yeah. He is always working. Even I let him outside at home and his nose goes right to the ground and he's like, oh, who is outside? Let, let's find him, Mom. And my husband came into his room and I had him out the other day. And the second we went to his room, all of a sudden Axel's ears perked up and he jumped up on my daughter's balance beam. He ran to the other window, he ran to the door and I'm like, I go upstairs, I'm like, front. I'm like, were you in Axel's room? He's like, yeah, I had to change something. I'm like, my dog, my dog told me you were in there. I knew you were there. <laughs> Didn't you Axel? <laughs> but he loves the snow, this weather. 
And when we get more snow, he'll just barrel into a snowbank and just roll around in it and be like, ah, I'm free. Yeah. You love the snow, you love toys, you love sticks. Sticks are probably one of his favorite things ever, aren't they? He doesn't like blow up um, um, decorations. Not a fan of those. He hated Christmas Mickey Mouse. No, you didn't trust Mickey Mouse, did you? No. You didn't like our trash can the other day either. It was glaring from the ice and he was he was mad at it. You think that ball is like the coolest thing ever to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Different color than the green that you're right. used to seeing, right? It's like, but it looks like yeah. a bunny tail there. And this one is a fresh one, all that feathery stuff it looks there. Like a bunny tail. Right, waiting to be mushed on it. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. He's like, Do you see the foam on my tennis ball? <laughs> He's like, I could totally do the same thing to your microphone. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah. Han me life. I think for canines in general, a good rule of thumb is we get so many people that will see us out on the streets and see our dogs and then come running up to us and want to touch them and pet them. And they are working dogs, just like service dogs, just dogs in general. Um, always be cautious when you're walking up to an animal or a dog um, because you don't know their temperament. Mm -hmm. So to be safe for you, to be safe for their handler, and to be safe for the animal, um, just have respect for the dogs. Um, if a lot of times we will tell people, okay, you can come up and pet him, but when he's ready. Um, it's not gonna be on everybody else's terms. So if you do see anybody working partners, just always ask. Don't go running by and flaring your arms. Remain calm, because he's already excited. So if you're excited, he's gonna be like, the party is on. and. We don't, we don't need the party all the time. Greg, where's your ball? That's not your ball. <laughs> this one's your ball. Oh yeah, that's your ball. Not that one. Oh, that one. Okay, you ready to get up? You ready to go back to work? Excellent. Load up. Good. Oh yeah. Yep, I'll take your leash out. And then that's your space. Yep, then we get to hang out there. I'm